everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're going to solve a problem. The problem of unevenly cooked curly Q bacon that ends up burnt or undercooked and nobody likes it. Today I'm gonna to share with you how to get perfectly cooked bacon every single time. Let's go see how this all comes together. Not too long ago, I had someone ask me, I believe it was when I made the, or the deluxe pimento, grilled pimento cheese sandwiches. And we put bacon and tomato on those. And someone happened to ask me how I get perfectly cooked slices of bacon because hers don't come out like that when she fries them in the skillet. Well, I'm gonna show you today my secret for cooking perfect bacon every time. And it doesn't involve a skillet and it does not involve you standing over your stove cooking four slices of bacon at a time until they're perfectly crispy and then some of them getting burnt because you had to turn your back and do something else. This way your bacon comes out perfect every single time and that is to bake it in the oven. When I worked in hotel kitchens for many years, this is how they cook bacon for breakfast buffets and large events. And it's the only way they do it because they can cook several pounds of bacon all at one time. And they can even do it in advance and they can put it in the buffet tray and it will warm up and it will be perfectly delicious. So what you wanna do is make sure first off that you have good quality bacon. I get a local brand here in North Carolina. It's called Nieces. It's the only brand of bacon I will purchase. It's delicious, it's local. And if you have a local provider, you should definitely try and find the best local bacon that you can. It's absolutely worth it. The second secret besides a good baking sheet is non-stick aluminum foil. Now y'all have heard me say I don't like to use aluminum foil that much and that's the truth and I don't like to use it for long slow cooking processes in the oven where acidic foods are being cooked. Bacon however is one exception. I never put bacon in the oven without first putting aluminum foil down. Now this will definitely work with regular aluminum foil and I've done it that way many times but the non-stick aluminum foil really, really gets the job done. It helps your bacon not to stick and cook to the foil, and it helps the foil not to rip, and the bacon just glides right off of it, and as it shrinks while it cooks, it just, it just stays right there, and it makes perfect slices of crispy bacon every single time. So I have two half sheet pans here that I have lined with just one sheet of, of the non-stick aluminum foil. And that's all you need. Now this is not to prevent you from having to wash the pan because you're going to have to wash the pan. The other thing this does too is if you are a saver of bacon or bacon nectar as we like to call it in our house, um, the, the bacon nectar just really pours right off into your jar. Nothing is left behind. It's very nice. So when you go to clean up this piece of foil, I like to just wipe it down with a paper towel, then crumble it up and throw it away. And then you can just wash it very quickly with hot soapy water. This is really simple. Like I said, I learned this a long time ago. The one thing I will say is when you get these slices, you're going to want to flip them. So you can put one down this way, and then you're going to put one down that way. So kind of turn them so they're opposite. Sometimes the bacon is very uneven. This particular package of bacon is nice and even. You just wanna do this. And typically, I will get 16 slices of bacon out of one of these pounds of bacon. So approximately eight slices per tray. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees, and I'm gonna put both of these sheet pans in the oven at the same time on different racks. One's gonna go on the bottom all the way to the left. One's gonna go on the top all the way to the right. And that way there will be better air circulation. There will be more even cooking. You're gonna cook these for 20 minutes. Halfway through, you're gonna go to your oven and you're gonna put the top tray on the bottom rack and the bottom tray on the top rack. And this is also going to help ensure even cooking. So. I'm gonna go ahead and put these trays of bacon in my oven. I'll bring you back and I'll show you what they look like. There you have it. Our bacon cooked for 10 minutes and then I flipped the pans, put the bottom on the top and the top on the bottom and then let it cook for another 10 minutes. When you can start to smell the bacon, you should check the bacon and make sure that your oven is cooking it properly. 
because it may take an extra 10 minutes. It may take an extra five or six minutes. It may take an extra 15 minutes. It just depends on your bacon. If you're using thick sliced bacon, it may take a little bit longer. So you have to be the expert judge of your own bacon so that it comes out cooked to your preference. Now you can see that my bacon slices are even. They're almost all identical. They are nice and curly in some spots and they're perfectly crispy. They're beautiful and they're ready for your breakfast. They're ready to go into a sandwich. They're ready to go into your dinner or whatever else you do with that. I like to cook bacon off like this a couple of pounds at a time. And then once it's all together cooled, you can lay it down on paper towel, roll it up and put it in a plastic bag. At that point, you can put it in the freezer or in the refrigerator. And if you put it in the fridge, it's gonna keep for up to a week. If you put it in the freezer, it's gonna last up to two months. And then you can just pull out slices as you need them. That way you always have cooked bacon available to you. So pre-cook it yourself, buy your bacon when it's on sale, do it in bulk, and you're always gonna be happy and you're always gonna have bacon. So that is how I cook perfect bacon every time using methods that I used working in a hotel kitchen. And I know they're gonna help you too. I hope that you give it a try the next time you're gonna cook some bacon. And I hope that you love it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. And if you did, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to my kitchen, welcome. It's always a pleasure to have new friends join me. Please hit that subscribe button. And as always, if you are a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, be sure to go down and hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope that you give this perfect cooked bacon a try sometime soon and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.